We're back with an exciting new video in which you'll see ingenious construction workers that are at another level. Wall and Pump The builders you see on the screen have managed to reduce the amount of time and work required on the entire procedure by mixing the solution with sophisticated equipment rather than the typical manual method. The mixing machine can also function as a powerful pump, producing vast quantities of material at once, sufficient even for large objects. The craftsman attached a hose to it and then climbed the equipment, which readily pumps the solution over the walls despite the hose's length. This allows the builders to spray the mortar on the walls like water once the material has been applied to the walls. Installing Bricket If you've ever seen a clinker brick or other comparable siding material being applied to a wall, it's been smoothed off for additional plastering and attaching bricket. You know, it's a pretty messy task that takes a lot of patience and precision from the worker. Even the tiniest error can result in a crooked row of bricks, then another, and so on, forcing him to either start over or abandon the project entirely. Because this method of laying clinker bricks allows you to complete the work approximately three times faster, the first stage of the briquette system greatly simplifies the job of the builders while increasing productivity on the construction site. Instead of covering the wall with masonry mortar as is usually done, metal panels are mounted to the wall. Concrete Door This is the only stage where precision is required. The panels must be affixed to the walls in a straight line. After that, you can begin installing the bricks by gluing them to the metal panels. The strips will work as a guide to ensure that the rows of bricks are absolutely even. The next step is to fill the joints between the bricks with mortar. Most people would prefer wooden or metal doors, but in some places in the world, they prefer concrete. Construction Tools Unique handmade concrete doors may be found and only a few molds and tools are required to produce one. For example, to outline the boundaries of the future door, two metal bars are set parallel to each other on the ground, and another metal block is used to compact and remove surplus material. The future door's surface is eventually smoothed with the aid of a spatula. The finalized product surface will include horizontal apertures that resemble a grid in order to measure their breadth and identify their placement. When the future door is marked, the worker uses the same metal bar with trowels to remove the unnecessary concrete slabs. To do so, the surface of the still wet concrete is cut exactly along the marks. The cut pieces are raised up with a knife and then simply removed and dragged aside. When this stage is completed, the holes must be smoothed out with a trowel and spatula once more allowing anyone with a basic set of construction equipment, patience, and precision to make this door. Modern construction material firms offer a wide choice of mixes, paints, and varnishes, each with its own composition to ensure a unique finish. Moreover, in this situation, many types of coatings are blended to create a surface that resembles masonry blocks. Additionally, these coatings are not ordinary. They have a peculiar texture. Maxima, a suburban manufacturer, are responsible for all of the products depicted in the film. The wall is initially coated with acrylic foundation roller grunt, which coarsens the surface so that subsequent layers of finish adhere better. The next layer is, in reality, Maxi Decor Travertine. Decorative Flooring it is lime plaster, which is typically applied to increase the surface's protective properties, but in this case, it is also used for design purposes. The material has a thick consistency and is applied to the wall in an even and dense layer before drying, with the worker adding additional texture with a brush. Decorative Paint Maxi Decor Bilateral Concrete flooring concrete is arguably the most adaptable material you can utilize when creating anything like the movie shows how it can be used to create interesting and unusual flooring. At first, the mold is filled with thin mortar that is compacted to evenly fill the mold. Notice the three openings in the middle, which are currently empty but will be colored later. The surface is very large, which is why this process requires several steps. Bricker Wood A dark gray dye is added to the concrete multiple times before stamping the surface as the floor is designed to be very dark. The only difference is that the dye is green and orange rather than dark gray. The final step in the floor construction process is to apply an acrylic sealer to the surface to protect it. 
We are going to discuss about Bricker Wood Houses, a French construction company that has transformed the way modern wooden buildings are constructed. Bricker Wood has invented a construction technique that employs only one component to produce walls. It's a brick made of wood. The system is similar to a Lego building set in that it starts with a wooden beam frame and then stacks the blocks on top of each other, securely connecting them with specific grooves inside and on the sides until it's time to erect the wall. The system is patented and there are three sizes of bricks, so there are no difficulties on the construction set. Keep in mind that when installing the wall, one block is placed on the outside and the other on the inside, and the strength of the structure is enhanced by the wooden bars clamped between the two blocks. Number 6. Guys Build House on Pond I'm going to build my house on top of water, and I'm going to use the entire world to do it. This guy on the other hand is one of them, which simply goes to show that when you love, everything is possible. When you adore something as much as this homeowner adores fishing, you begin to piece everything together. For some, that would mean adorning an entire wing of the house with fishing paraphernalia or even a tattoo. But for one man, that wasn't enough. He wanted to virtually spend his life for fishing. Now he'll be able to. Paul Phillips has built a number of homes in his community over the years, but none of them have satisfied the itch he had for that special home that many refer to as the forever home. Each one was missing one vital element, and after finally identifying that element, Philip built his dream home, one that he could fish right through a hole in the living room floor. Number 5. Santa Madlock's Concrete Artist The concrete artist has been locked up by Santa. Granite, marble, and other rock varieties have become staples in luxury home buildings, and I know I'll be booking to make my countertops the next time I move. The use of concrete has been discouraged. With his exceptional countertop ideas, Santa Madlock and his company Abstract Concrete are attempting to change that. Who said concrete couldn't be beautiful in a luxury home? Santa is proving the industry wrong and flipping it on its head with his superb work, which he refers to as functional art. He aspires to introduce concrete functionality and toughness into the art and luxury building worlds, and he is making rapid success. Number 4. Incredible Road Sign Believe it or not, you drive over art every day. These unsung artists need more attention and many of those signs, including the well-known bus stop scene in this film, deserve it. I know, right? These workers work with precision and efficiency. Only those with experience can tell there's real artistry required in each individual sign depending on visual requirements surrounding obstructions and traffic control. Depends on how the signs are placed, including size, color angle, and visual acuity looking closely. To account for the latter factors, you'll notice slight differences in letters or symbols as well as minor spacing variations. When making these signs, there are numerous factors to consider. It's not just a slap job, at least not in the cities in question. If you see a sign painter out there, notify them. Number 3. Master Thatcher of Britain Britain's Master Thatcher thatching is one of the oldest construction techniques known to man, dating back to the Bronze Age. It is a process that involves using straw or grasses, essentially whatever was available at the time, to construct parts of the home such as the roof or walls. Throughout Britain, entire villages have used this traditional method and many of them are still standing today, though most have begun to rot and fall apart like a house. If for no other reason than to keep their prime price on the real estate market, the dramatic drop in both thatchers and thatched houses merely over the previous several centuries is perhaps the most indicative of the disappearing art form. For every six or seven thatches appearing in 1851, there is now just one. Number 2. The Mortar Magician Machines the mortar magician machines are rapidly replacing brick and mortar layers, but that hasn't stopped this man from breaking human record after human record. Dubbed the mortar magician, Bob keeps his Guinness Book of World Records award framed in his entry hall. It's the first thing he wants visitors to see. When they enter his home, they will see proof of his accomplishments as a bricklayer. In 1987, he laid a plum level even level on an 8 inch thick double brick wall with 914 bricks in less than 60 minutes, and the wall still stands today, proving that the quality was there as well. The eldest of three brothers, he grew up in Chicago and began his career as a bricklayer as a teenager.
Number 1. China's Daredevil Electric Employees on the assembly line, I'm pretty sure this is breaking some sort of electrical safety code, but it's happening in China, so maybe not. Either way, this is extremely dangerous for a variety of reasons, including the hundreds of thousands of volts of energy running beneath your feet and the fact that he's not wearing a harness. I guess these workers enjoy living on the edge, breaking up the monotony of everyday work, though I'd wager that putting my life on the line is a bit excessive. I mean, they're walking across those things like a tightrope and holding onto the side wires like handrails, which is bad in so many ways. The workers were conducting safety checks on ultra-high voltage power lines in the Jinjiang Autonomous Region. If you need a carpet installed in a hurry, call the world record holders who completed this task in an astonishing amount of time. Please like and subscribe to our channel, and when you do, click the bell to be notified anytime I upload another video.